I've been writing for so many years. I started out uh, primarily as a fiction writer. I wrote a lot of short stories, wrote a few novels that didn't get published, the stories did. And then I discovered creative nonfiction sometime in the 1990s, and, and it was still a sort of developing form at the time, at least the naming of it as creative nonfiction and figuring out all the different parts of the nonfiction world that were part of non creative nonfiction. And I immediately jumped ship and said, this, this is where I belong. 20 years ago, I started an online magazine. I never imagined it would last that long. It's nonfiction, essays and memoir, 750 words or fewer, but it's a it's a challenge writers have, have taken up, and that's why we're still here. We publish writers from Scotland, Ireland, a number of writers from India, the East. It's all English-speaking writers um, or Americans living abroad. Some of them very well known, some of them emerging in their career, some of them publishing for the first time. But it's grown from sort of a small little project I did at home to a magazine that, that gets 10,000 readers a year. Fearful to MFA is a strong program. It's a program that's very diverse in, in many different ways, I mean, including the life experience and age of the participants. But it's, it's a program that represents America very well and likewise the issues in America very well. So the students here are writing about all these very pressing issues in our culture. Andrews Island is beautiful. It's a lovely space on the water. Uh, it's just stunning, the buildings that we're teaching in and, and staying in and eating in are, are beautiful stone buildings. The residency itself is just so full of energy and vibrancy. The students clearly are happy to be here, excited to be here, and I kind of, I feel the momentum growing as the week goes on. Um, students in the creative writing program obviously are hoping to become better writers, and the goal of writers everywhere is readers, eyeballs. I have something to say, I want people to hear it. There's strategies that work better. The strategies that we know and strategies we're learning that every story is a little different. So to read the incoming submissions for a magazine like Brevity, you learn a lot about what works and what doesn't. You also learn about the world of editing and publishing. Students might want to go on to work in editing and publishing, but even if they don't, if they spend their life as a writer sending their work out to magazines, to book presses, it's useful to understand how that world works and what what the editors are thinking when they open the envelope, although nowadays they're opening an email, not an envelope.